Coming up on this edition of New England Ski Journal, it's a brand new ski season and that means time for some new equipment. We go to the Country Ski and Sports Ski Sale and Expo for a little shopping. Plus, we'll check in at a few resorts around New England to find out what's new for 2021-22. Hello again and welcome to a new season of New England Ski Journal. I'm your host, Meredith Foreman. We're coming off what had to be one of the most difficult ski seasons ever due to the pandemic. This year, resorts know better about what to expect and in many places, COVID restrictions have lessened. As many of you know, the annual Boston Ski Expo usually signals the start of the season, but that has been canceled for the second year in a row. Country Ski and Sport have always had a huge presence at the Boston Expo, so they decided to have their own mini expo at their warehouse in Hanover, and our cameras were there. We had this space here, so we took over the space next door for five days and invited some ski areas to come down, and we're just trying to do this every year and build it up. To get to where we are today, we've been planning since July. A lot of work with the town, who have been great in helping us bring the beer and wine into here. This is going to be an annual thing. It will be held here you know, every November, Veterans Day weekend, and uh, it's just going to keep growing. Everyone knows it's impossible to like, really know what a ski is going to ski like or a boot's going to feel like until you do it, right? And that's why we're here, is the post-purchase and, of course, discounts. We've never really sold things at full retail price. The reason we're still here and competitive in the marketplace is because we know people want discounted items. Equipment in terms of like goggles and helmets are huge. Something that people often overlook or only buy once every 10 years. But if you have a chat with goggles or helmets reps, they'll tell you how important it is to see and how important it is to be protected out there. So that's huge. But literally anything you need that has to do with skiing, you can find here. Well, my favorite product, the heated socks, right? So you got to keep those toes warm. If you're not warm, you're not out there having fun. We couldn't do it without the help of our brand reps. They basically act as our staff throughout these four days. Vocal, Marker, Del Bello is a huge one. We have Atomic, Blizzard, Technica, you name it. The biggest brands in the industry bring their people here to help sell skis. And it's a really good experience for shoppers because they expect that biased opinion from the brand reps, but the brand reps know that we're a family business. We're here to all sell product, get people in the right skis, boots, bindings, whatever it has to be. So it's a good team effort. We'll have more from Country Ski and Sport later in the show, but now let's begin our check-ins at New England Resorts and find out what's happening at Massachusetts' favorite, Wachusett Mountain. Joining us from Wachusett is Public Relations Manager Chris Stimson. Hi Chris, you're coming off a year of uncertainty concerning the pandemic, so what is the vibe like so far this season? Yeah, we're definitely uh, a lot more relaxed going into this season just because we kind of know uh, where we stand. Well, I mean, yeah, you're right. Last year we had no idea what, what was going to happen, what the restrictions were going to be. So uh, definitely have a little bit more information this year being a year into this thing. So um, we're, we're feeling good about the season. We're still going to have masks inside the lodge, but um, most of the outdoor restrictions sounds like those are going to be lifted um, per CDC and Charlie Baker and the administration here. So uh, yeah, it seems like the outdoor activities at least will be mostly back to normal. How excited are the skiers this year and how are ticket sales so far? Yeah, actually our season passes have sold out, so that's a good sign. Um, we are still limiting the number that we're selling to, to control capacity in that way. Um, we are launching a, a ticket deal right now where you can reload a previous ticket from a previous season and save 20%. So if you lock in at the day that you want to ski now, you can save a little bit that way. So what's new at Wachusett this year? Um, there's a few new things. So we are bringing back some of the some of the good things from last year as well. We're bringing back those outdoor heated benches that everybody loved. We have some new outdoor seating by O'Brien's Grill and some new outdoor lockers and outdoor gear storage as well. What to you is special about skiing at Wachusett? Definitely the, the thing that makes us very popular is the accessibility of it. I mean, we're one hour from Boston and 25 minutes from Worcester, and we have a lot of uh, people come up from Rhode Island. But the other thing that's special is that it's it just has that local mountain vibe and, and still has some great skiing. I mean, you still get a good run in. It's about a thousand skiable acres. Um, we have 27 trails. 
Uh, summit elevation is 2,006 feet and it's 1,000 vertical feet of skiing. That's impressive because when many people think about skiing in Massachusetts, they think small hills. They always say mountain skiing minutes away. And the other uh, funny or fun fact is that the Geological Survey defines a mountain as 2,000 feet elevation and we're 2,006, so we just made it. Thanks, Chris. Stay with us on New England Ski Journal as we head to Vermont's Burke Mountain to find out what they have in store for the new ski season. Plus, we'll have more from the Country Ski and Sports Ski Sale and Expo just ahead. We already hit the beer garden. We're going to go to the food truck. We're just going to hang out here for a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah it's, it's awesome that we have this like right in our backyard. So today we're going to be talking about skis and I found three that you're really going to like. This is the Vocal Blaze 106. This type of ski is designed for more free ride terrain, off trail riding. The type of skier that would enjoy this ski is the person that's in the woods, the bumps, searching for powder. Some of the great features about this ski is going to be its width and also power while still being lightweight. So the next ski we're going to talk about is the new ski from Atomic, the Maverick 95 Ti. So the hype on the Maverick is it was specifically designed for East Coast skiers, hard pack situations, and for skiers who are also looking to go into the woods and the bumps. This ski is great for your advanced level skier to ski all over the mountain. They also make a woman specific version of this ski, which is awesome. The last ski we're gonna talk about is the Nordica Wild Bell 84. You may notice this ski looks different than the other skis, and that's because it's designed for someone who's gonna be specifically skiing on trail. This ski is gonna be great for intermediate to advanced level skiers who are mostly skiing on trail, but exploring the woods and the bumps. The benefits of this ski is its vertical sidewall and side cut. When people are shopping for skis, they need to keep in mind where they're gonna be skiing and what type of terrain they're gonna be on. So come into Country Ski and Sport where we will get you in the right ski so you can have a great time on the slopes. Welcome back. Are you looking for a resort a little out of the way with short lift lines and challenging terrain? Then head north to Vermont's Burke Mountain where they have incredible ticket deals going on. Joining us from Burke is marketing manager Jessica Seckler. Hi Jessica, can you tell us about those deals? So Burke remains one of um, <laughs> the most affordable places to ski, um, you know, and we're certainly proud of that. We own that to the T for sure. Our one day retail ticket rate is $85 um, for an adult on any given non-holiday, of course, um, Sundays and Mondays. We have our NEK Sunday Monday ticket price where half day tickets you can purchase for 40 bucks. On Tuesday and Thursdays, we have our Silver Streaker deal. So if you're aged uh, 55 or older, you can ski for $38 and that's an all day lift ticket. And then on Wednesdays, Wednesdays are wicked here at Burke, where it's a three for one ticket deal. So you can purchase three lift tickets for the price of one, which is pretty incredible. So tell us what's new at Burke this season. Yeah, so what's new at Burke this year? So we have the snow making um, that the new towers will be installed down at our lower mountain area. And then our biggest investment this season is actually in our information technology infrastructure. We're really excited to be updating on most of our desktops and all of our point of sale systems. So all of our ticketing, all of our food and beverage point of sale systems will now be state of the art. So we're really excited to be upgrading all of that technology heading into the winter season. So after last year's tough season, how does this season look? Yeah, last year was unique in the sense that, yeah, we didn't know what was happening, but we got this playbook handed down to us by the state. So, you know, in hindsight, it was actually um, a little easier to navigate uh, per se, but this year, you know, we are just excited um, to be getting back on snow, opening up the doors, welcoming all our skiers, riders back into a, um, you know, I don't want to quite go to the normal uh, power phrasing, but, you know, I think our Burke skiers and riders are certainly going to see a more familiar setting here. How would you describe skiing at Burke Mountain? I mean, you know, Burke is just one of those places that you love to call home. And, you know, I think that's where, you know, our culture comes from. You know, there's a sense of pride. There's a sense of loyalty here that we all really just embrace and love to take to heart. And one of the unique things at Burke is you can still, you know, ski here and, and have the mountain to yourself. Anything else going on? Do 
you have any events coming up? So this year, we're really excited to be hosting the Warren Miller premiere. So we have three showings um, throughout the winter season, um, you know, which Warren Miller, you know, the godfather of ski movies. So we have one on New Year's Day and one during the uh, President's Week um, holiday vacation week. But, you know, we're starting to kind of fill the calendar with events. So, you know, continue to check on skiberg.com for, you know, all those um, kids activities and sledding on the slopes and all the cool things that winter brings. Thanks, Jessica. We'll be sure to do that. Now, when we come back, we'll head to New Hampshire for a little Nordic skiing at Great Glen Trails, and we'll continue our look at the Country Ski and Sports Sale and Expo and find out what some of the latest trends are in the ski world. So I came in, was not looking for anything too specific, but they had everything you could need here. Um, a lot of great options, a lot of great deals. I'm a new snowboarder, so was looking for some new gear to get into this next season. Got new helmet, goggles, and some ideas on coats and stuff. Hey guys, welcome back to the Brew Minute. My name's Garrett, I'm here at the Woodstock Inn Brewery located in North Woodstock, New Hampshire. Today we're talking about 4,000 footer IPA. 4,000 footer IPA is our West Coast IPA. The beer is clear, unlike a New England IPA. The beer has notes of citrus and pine, is 6.8% ABV and 80 IBUs. This beer is perfect for you if you're a hophead. This beer is available in six pack cans and 12 pack cans in all your local convenience stores and grocery stores throughout New England. This beer is also available on tap here at the brewery. The Woodstock Inn Brewery is a great spot to chill out after a day of skiing or hiking. We've got a great fireplace, we've got appetizers, we've got great burgers, and lots of cold beer. We're centrally located at 135 Main Street, North Woodstock, New Hampshire. Stop on by and see us. New England Ski Journal is your complete source for skiing and the outdoors in New England. With some of the best writers and photography in the industry, New England Ski Journal will inform and inspire you with insight and advice on the ski and outdoor scene like no one else. From special destinations, resorts, lodging, gear, backcountry gems, the opera scene, as well as summer and fall experiences, New England Ski Journal is your go-to source for guide and adventure. Log on to SkiJournal.com forward slash subscribe to start your ski and outdoor experience today. And if you're looking for daily content on the New England ski and outdoor scene, SkiJournal.com has you covered. Delivering insider information with their expert lineup of ski and outdoor journalists in the industry. Looking for your next ski experience? Check out all of our New England Ski Journal episodes at SkiJournal.com as we visit some of the best ski resorts and destinations in the region. You're looking at some images of Great Glen Trails, recently voted one of America's top 10 Nordic skiing resorts in a USA Today poll. They're located in Gorham, New Hampshire at the base of Mount Washington. There always seems to be some new fun event going on there, so here's event director Lisa McCoy to tell us about it. This year we're excited because we're gonna be hosting the Jackson Chamber of Commerce Snow Sculpture Competition. It's a nationally known snow sculpture competition that's happening the end of January. So there'll be some 14 snow sculptures here at the base of the Auto Road and Great Glen Trails uh, for participants to come and check out. It's a really neat event. And who participates in that competition? These are selected artists from around the country who get individually picked and they come here to perform their snow sculpting art. It's really amazing. It's January 28th, 29th, and 30th. We're also hosting, of course, the Backcountry Ski Touring Festival with the Granite Backcountry Alliance, and that's at the end of January on January 29th. That's uh, for anyone who's interested in uh, backcountry skiing up the auto road, and it's the only time that you can click in uh, with your Alpine touring gear and uh, descend the auto road legally um, on Alpine skis. Every other day of the year, you have to be on free heels or Nordic equipment. Do you sell season passes at Great Glen Trails? We do. It's an amazing deal for a season pass. If you're a first time season pass holder, it's 50% off. There is always early season deals. We have a package deal for our outfitter shop. If you purchase ski equipment here, then you get 50% off a season pass and it affords you the ability to just park and get on on the trails. So remind us again what other activities are at Great Glen Trails. We have a full fleet of fat bikes that you can rent and you can cruise around on our groom trail network on your fat bike. 
really fun to enjoy the trails on a bike on snow. We make reservations for our tubing hill. Uh, it's two hour sessions on the weekends and holidays. We have a campfire at the top with our famous Grandpa Raj who offers s'mores and hot chocolate. Families and couples and coworkers alike can just enjoy a time, um, you know, sliding up and down kind of an old fashioned tubing hill. And I'm sure the snow coach is still running up Mount Washington. The snow coach is an amazing experience and it takes you to about two thirds of the way up the Mount Washington Otter Road. It's a passenger van outfitted with four tracks and that machine is able to take people up in comfort and they're warm and the driver always gives a really nice tour so you learn about the, the environment that you're in and then you get just to tree lines. So you kind of pop out above tree lines. Sometimes you get amazing views and sometimes you get a taste of that weather that Mount Washington is so well known for. For anyone who's looking for a rest day or just a unique experience for your vacation here in the North Conway area, uh, the snow coach is a must do. Thanks, Lisa. Up next, we head right up the road from Great Glen Trails to check in at Bretton Woods. Plus, we'll have more from Country Ski and Sport when we return. Welcome back to New England Ski Journal. We're at the Country Ski and Sports Ski Sale and Expo where all the top brand names are represented. It's certainly great to see the enthusiasm uh, out here today. Uh, and thankfully, we're seeing that enthusiasm all over the New England territory. The main trends are still in this all mountain category and we've seen a lot of action in the hybrid category. The 80 to 90% skier is looking to perhaps climb, um, you know, 10 to 20% of the time. So there's, uh, there's a lot of great hybrid product out there uh, right now, particularly the Blaze Ski from, from Vocal and the, and the Lupo product from Dalbello. There's people coming in to look for a lot of great deals and uh, that's what they're offering here, not only from Marco Del Bello and Vocal, but other brands. And depending on your level of skier, there's stuff here for the entry level skier, um, that mid level skier, the type two skier, and the type three skier. There's some, some really expert level stuff here. And we end our trip around New England with a visit to Bretton Woods, New Hampshire's largest ski area. And last year when we spoke to marketing director Craig Klemmer, he was up at the summit in the middle of a snowstorm. This year, Craig, you seem a little bit more comfortable. I am. I'm in uh, the brand new presidential wing at the Mount Washington Hotel. Uh, last year, uh, right before Christmas, we opened up this wing with 69 new rooms uh, and beautiful uh, balconies or, or uh, patios coming off of these rooms. And it takes great advantage to be able to see the Nordic terrain as well as uh, easy access over to the Alpine terrain. It's certainly one of the most iconic hotels in New England, and it looks like you've done some great renovations. Absolutely. You know, we, we uh, have been planning this for a number of years and uh, had the opportunity to complete this project even with our brief closure. Uh, and one of the rooms that I'm sitting in is uh, one of our presidential suites. So these are a little bit over a thousand square feet uh, for this room. And uh, uh, there's three of these and they're absolutely uh, very uh, in demand for people that want to come up for a great day of recreating, but really want the level of uh, the amenities that this resort offers. So from the ski product, obviously to the room product, we want to make sure that uh, we're representing Bretton Woods well. Craig, we've been asking everyone this. Now, as far as the pandemic is concerned, what's the vibe at Bretton Woods going into this ski season? Well, I think there was the, non, the known and then the unknown. And I think the unknown really outweighed the known at this point. I think the team last year really did a great job in making sure we had a great and safe environment for the skiers. And we're going to repeat that process this year. Um, you know, we are strongly suggesting masks for any indoor spots, any places that you're eating and dining. We want to make sure that we continue to uh, uh, keep that drum beat going and make sure that people know that Brentwood is a safe place to come and enjoy a great ski vacation with the whole family. So what's new at Bretton Woods? I imagine your Rosebrook Lodge that you opened a year ago has even more going on now. Absolutely. You know, I mean, we, we really are hitting our stride with that facility. Last year was sort of the introduction. Now it's the reintroduction, the refinement of that. Uh, the Crystal Hills uh, top level has not only been a great wedding venue for us, but also a great skier service venue. Uh, the food up there is excellent. The Switchback Grill um, is also just another great place. Uh, as we went through fall with that being open, 
Uh, and then obviously just a great place to go up. There's a Peaks Coffee Shop up there is also very nice as well. Bretton Woods is the largest ski area in New Hampshire, and it seems like many people don't know that. Bretton Woods still has the most open terrain uh, accessible in, in the heart of our season. 464 acres of skiable terrain. But the nice thing about it truly is that there is a uh, uh, something challenging for every skier. They really do a great job of catering to everybody at Brenton Woods and having the most open terrain, having those three peaks that we own uh, and we can be able to continue to refine that product. Uh, it, it is such a, uh, a great asset for the state of New Hampshire and for all of New England. Is there anything else you would like to mention? No, I, I think obviously people have come here over the many years. You know, we were like one of the last major ski areas to open up in, in, uh, in, New, in New Hampshire. Uh, and we continue to add to that. So come up, have a great day of skiing, get the whole family out here. That eight passenger gondola has been just such a great addition. And the view is uh, you know, synonymous with Brenton Woods, but it is really just set here for families to get out, get out of their house, get up here into the woods of New Hampshire and enjoy a great day of skiing. Thanks, Craig. And that will end our first New England Ski Journal of the new ski season. Remember, you can go to skijournal.com to check out any of our past episodes. I'm Meredith Gorman, stay safe and enjoy the winter.